Hello, everyone. Welcome to Short Explanations, episode 23. My name is Hyam. Tom is there. There, there. It doesn't matter anymore. We're just around. We're all encompassing. Actually, all of us, we've all been just basically MIA for a while because life gets in the way and it's tough. It's, it's to come up with a quality security topic. Not that that's hard, but it is something that we can explain. And nobody cares which cryptocurrency gets hacked today or which or who is losing data or whatever it is, because obviously you can't do anything about it. So, so we want to bring some stuff that's a little relevant that we can explain and do right and everything else. So so today I've been hearing a lot about this. We have a couple of scams that are big. The first one is about your those reward points. Did you know those reward points can be sold like on a secondary market? And so I'm gonna, I I just recently found out about this, but apparently Tom knows more about this than I do. Uh, sorry, I I would I would uh, you know do the show right now, but uh, the IRS is asking for seven thousand dollars in Wendy's gift certificates to cover a tax bill. It seems kind of odd, but. Uh... I gotta go to Wendy's and pick up a gift card. Uh, I'll be back later. I mean, that's really our second topic, but <laughs> I mean, it, it's there. That's gift cards. But so, if you join our Signal group, I will send you this website. But there is a website, and and this is just not one of them where you can get anything you want, any of like the big places that are for reward points for almost next to nothing. You can get a, a free sub. From or you can get a free Jersey Mike sub for like a dollar fifty, so you pay this website a dollar fifty, and they give you a code to get the gigantic Jersey Mike sub, and you're like, well, how do they do that? And the answer is what they're doing is they're stealing other people's points and then just reselling them, because stuff is out of stock. How is this coupon out of stock unless somebody's losing points? This uh, this is actually a, a pretty common thing. It, it's been around for a while. It usually happened with gift cards, though, because uh, you would pretty regularly see, um, you know, this gift card is out of stock and you could buy gift cards on the cheap for anything you want, any food place, any, you know, big box store. Uh, you can just go and get, you know, cheaper gift cards um, and they ran out of stock uh pretty often uh you actually do even see this with like video game downloads like if you go buy steam keys from third-party resellers have you wondered why those games are so cheap and you know if it's legit uh the answer may surprise you like i'm on this website and for a dollar 50 i can get 800 wendy's points that's a small fry for 200. I can get a crispy chicken sandwich for 250. So I can get four piece chicken nuggets for 150 points. I can get, let's see, a Dave's double for 600. So and the Dave's how much, double, how much 600 is that, points. Uh, yeah. It's how much eight, are those points eight, running you? A dollar 50 for 800 points. A buck 50? I mean, a Dave's yeah. double is more than a buck fifty. Correct. If you want sixteen hundred points, it's three dollars. I mean, obviously they just double it, but so you basically buy this, and then all of a sudden they put they they either give you the code, they do something to get the code into into your app and whatever it is. And the, here's the problem: the problem is is that you're paying a dollar fifty. This website looks completely legitimate. I mean, it has dark mode even. You can change it. And it has, you can have a sign up. You have, you, you, it's, it's HTTPS. It's all these great things. And they're not telling you what they're doing. Essentially what they're doing is they're stealing accounts, robbing the points, them keeping it, and then giving them to you. And I'm not telling, I'm not okay with this, but I, I know a lot of people to say a dollar fifty for a Dave, for a Dave's double is, is great. And it, let's let's not get sued. Some of these sites aren't hacking accounts themselves. They're just, uh, you know, 
trafficking stolen accounts and uh, stolen points. So they, they don't necessarily have to be the evil hackers who are breaking into the accounts themselves. They could just be a middleman moving stolen goods. I know Just it's, is doing a whole lot of heavy lifting there. I know. So I don't know. So you can get for $1.25 the sports ball streaming package. You know, the buck twenty five? A buck twenty five for the, the sport that goes on Sundays. Hmm. That seems a little cheap. It almost ekes into this too good to be true territory. And again, so so and the and so the question is, well, how are they getting this? And like you said, they could be doing a whole bunch of other things. But I really think it's it's the proliferation of every single one of these stores or things has their own app and they're and they're trying to get you to sign up. So if you think about the process, I'm standing at Wendy's and I can get a free sandwich if I download their app. So I download the app. The first thing that they want is what's your email address? Okay, here's some throwaway email address. Now create a password. I'm standing there on my phone. I, it's hard to get my password manager to create some super secure password and then get it stored. So I'm going to put some really weak password, most likely something like my throwaway password that we've spoken about in the past. And then then they get hacked because this is not banking information here. These are one of those low-hanging fruits that all they have to do is hack the app. Because I didn't think Wendy's was the, the epitome of computer security or Domino's or Jersey Mike's or of having a really strong app. So if the database gets stolen, and we're hearing that all the time now. It's like somebody stole all the Burger King points. Like, okay. And so they get stolen, and then what? what, what your points are stolen, and I guess it almost sounds like a victimless crime. But if you if you collect these types of points, it's a problem. So I, I don't know. I, I I I didn't realize this was a thing until very recently, and actually, a student of mine told me about this website. So, and it's not just one of them. There's a whole bunch of them. So yeah. I'm telling you to. Again, these are illegal sites, but again, just keep if you're for everything you need a secure password. It's I know it's hard. Maybe you say I really don't need that free sandwich at insert store here. Maybe I can just if I'm going to do it, I'm going to find a different way. I'm going to go before I go. I'm going to be on my computer. I'm going to put a secure password in. But I'm not going to be chasing these little free to, free little things just to get a secure password, just to get a free sandwich or whatever else. The, um, you know, there, you don't necessarily have to zero out points, right? Like, let's say, let's say a database gets stolen and these people, you know, get a bunch of codes or a bunch of whatever, right? Uh, ways to get uh, free merchandise from these companies. Uh, the company could choose to invalidate those and then like reimburse people who had the points legitimately. Um, and then the company has to eat that cost. Doesn't happen all the time like that, but it is an option. So uh, we could even have more of this happening than people realize, and just the companies eating the cost of that fraud. I mean, let's hope that that somebody of importance is listening and saying, "Hey, we need to either improve our security, or or find another way to deal with this." I, I don't know, like. T-Mobile on Tuesdays gives us free whatever if we download the app and install it. And I know what they're doing. They're giving us this little token whatever. So they're getting the promotion from whatever restaurant to get this app installed. And then I use it and then sometimes I forget. But like you, like I said, I, I create this really bogus account. I use it once and that's it. And we move on. But now let's talk about your scam. Your scam with gift cards. So we've all heard about gift card scams, but I don't know. I, I, I guess the question is why gift cards specifically? Like why not like uh, like a Western Union uh, money order? Uh, so Western Union to some people, it, it still um, still does have uses. Uh, but to some people uh, who are aware of this, any time somebody requests Western Union money, it's probably a scam um there are legitimate uses for western union money transfers um i have personally used them before 
um, for not scam purposes, believe it or not. Uh, but most of the time, if if you've been in this world for any length of time, somebody says Western Union, you should think scam because that's probably what it is. Um, gift cards, though, gift cards as a scam is a newer vector. It's I, I want to say newer, but it's been happening for a decade at least. Um, where, you know, a intermediary can get somebody to, you know, scam them out of money uh, and get them to send them a bunch of gift cards or gift card codes or other things in the mail. Uh, and then they can turn around and sell them to these middlemen sites. And these middlemen sites don't necessarily have to have a, you know, a chain of, of custody or a chain of evidence or like... Uh, you know, they, you basically don't have to prove that you acquired these gift card codes legitimately. You just have to have valid gift card codes that are able to be applied to the company's account. Uh, and if you are able to sell these things and offload them, you're going to get, you know, less money than the gift cards are worth, obviously, but you'll get something. And then this intermediary site can then turn around and say, hey, do you want a $50 Walmart gift card for 45 bucks? It's five free dollars if you buy it through us. Um, and the middleman makes some money, the people selling the gift card make some money, and the people who got scammed are losing all the money. Uh, and the people, you know, buying the gift cards gain a little bit of money. Uh, so there's an entire ecosystem around buying and selling and scamming people out of and hacking the accounts of people to get gift card balances and gift card codes out of them. Uh, so it's it's a whole thing. So you might have seen, you've probably seen uh, scams where, uh, you know, the IRS is requesting Walmart gift certificates for whatever reason. Um, listen, government entities do not operate in the realm of gift cards. If you see a scam of XYZ government agency is asking you to provide gift cards to settle some debt or judgment or charge against you that is not the government that is a scam and you can safely ignore it um this happens a lot um this happens a whole lot uh so if you do see somebody buying a lot of gift cards at a store or um if you know if you are a person who got one of these messages and you're kind of concerned about it because it looks legit right um don't be concerned. Just toss away the email. Don't do it. And if you already have done that, uh, contact your financial institution. A lot of the times they do have kind of these, uh, you know, fraud prevention or forgiveness programs where if you have gotten scammed, uh, you know, there's a chance that you can work with somebody to get, you know, some or all of that money back. Um, it really depends on, uh, you know, the the specific situation you're in and the specific financial institutions you're working with. But Finances are slow, especially if it's recent. You might be able to claw some of that back before it goes through. Well, I'm going to say that, first off, I don't know of any entity. Uh, I don't know of anyone who likes gift cards. I think the only good use of gift cards may be Amazon, or not Amazon, but a store that you go to all the time, like all the time, specifically where if you run out of money, they let you use a different denomination of cash uh, to to continue the purchase. So like Amazon, if it's $55 and you have a $50 gift card, they let you use the $5. Maybe Walmart and Target also do this. Or I think like the Nintendo or Xbox eShop where you can buy DLCs. I think those are the only two good uses. I don't even like those Visa gift cards that you get at some banks where it's like just like cash. Well, it's just like cash, except to the point that if you're over by even a penny, it doesn't work. Like you have to go to the restaurant and be like, you can only put $18 and 47 cents on this. And then I have to give you some other method of cash that doesn't work. So let, let this be a PSA as we're going into the holidays, please just give your friends cash, give your kids teachers. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't want to say cash, but give them cash. Get let the cash be King. Don't, don't go get, buying gift cards and if somebody says oh we need gift cards for this don't don't do it don't listen to them because that's not good either um i i, I never saw the the use of a gift card i i guess it's it's for people like to say oh i know you like this i don't know exactly what you want no no, no just give them cash 
And you talked about in the beginning about wiring. My wife, my wife has on the bottom of her email signature, like this really long disclaimer of we do not, if you are going to wire money, please call us, have us on the phone while we help you wire the money. Don't just listen to anybody. We want to be there. So we're, we're aware of the number and the account number and everything else, because the fraud is so prevalent. And especially if you're trying to buy a house and we're talking in the multiple tens of thousands of dollars, you don't, because once the wire is the, the gone, that's it. You're, you're done. That's it. So, so wires, Western union gift cards, all of them are scams. Even the nature of gift cards are scams. Don't do it. If, uh, if you let the corporations tell you that giving cash is an impersonal gift and a gift card is better, you're letting the corporations win. Yeah, Give your nieces that. and nephews cash. Give your grandkids cash. Cash is great. You can spend it on anything. You can spend it on rent or you can spend it on video games. I've done a lot of both. It's great. And so what people do is they get like the visa middle, the middle of the road. It's like cash, but not really because it's not cash. And it, it bugs out and you can't really use it yeah. in most places. And like a lot of online services just won't accept those visa gift cards at all. And, you know, if I get a visa gift card, what am I spending it on? video games and if i can't spend it on steam or wherever why even have it it's it's like you said people say it's impersonal no it's just make people's lives easier like, don't let just, the corpos win give away yes. cash so i i don't know i just i i I see these YouTube videos of how the scammers are getting the, the anti scammers they're caught. And all I hear are gift cards and Western union and, 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 and wire transfers. And I'm like, and I know that, that P, I know that cashiers are, 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 are being trained to recognize this. Like, why are you buying a $200 gift card for this or that, or the other thing? And, and they're catching people to, and they're helping them, which is great. I just don't understand why there's like walls of gift cards places. Like I thought we got over that and, and there shouldn't be any, just, uh, I just give people cash. I, I can't say that enough. Yeah. Yeah. So if, so if you do recognize these signs, if you've seen this happen, if it's, if it's currently happening to you where, you know, somebody is requesting a whole bunch of gift cards because there's something you have to do right now or else someone's going to get into trouble or you're going to get charged with a crime unless you pay off the FBI with, I, I don't know, Culver's gift cards. Don't. That's, that's a scam. And, I mean, and trust me, if you've been scammed like this, it's not your fault. It's not. I mean, it's it's a scam, right? Somebody took advantage of you. That's not your fault. Um, you know, could you have evaded it if you, you know, had the education or somebody with you or whatever? Sure, right. But don't blame the victim here. They're the victim of a scam, right? The person you should be blaming is the the people running this operation and the people taking advantage of people who don't know any better. Like that's that's gross. And obviously and we gotta blame the scammer. <laughs> I, I wanna expand that if that if that involves cryptocurrency as well. Yeah. If, if people are saying you need to go you have to go to this Bitcoin ATM and pull out Bitcoin and or Monero or something, that's also a scam. Yeah. Just if it's not cash, I mean, and yes, there are still cash scams, but unless it's cash, it's probably a scam and you should be wary. Anyway, yeah. I got nothing else. Um just yeah. two scams. Those are the two big ones that, that come across a lot. And we're going into holiday season. So again, take our recommendations. Okay, keep your food your food rewards card safe with a strong password and multi-factor authentication. If you care. Or use some throwaway just food password. I don't know. Maybe you just don't um, care. I'm going to say even if you don't care, use a strong password because otherwise the scammers win. Right? They have more ammunition than they did before. And you don't want to give that away for free. At least make them pay you for it. Or send them to us. If you don't really care, just send us the codes. I would like a Dave's double for next to nothing. <laughs> I'll take 800 Wendy's points. I do. I think I have the app on my phone. Um, but And then gift cards. Don't, just stay away from gift cards. Just don't go. Give your whomever you want to give gift cards to. Just give them cash and say, here you go. Because it's your money anyway. Just... Don't make them go jump through hoops. So with that said, I, I'm hoping to have an episode next week. We usually have our Thanksgiving episode on what to do and how to help uh, the, the less tech smart people 
with because if you're that person, we want to give you some updated advice. So that's going to be the goal. Now, whether that happens or not, I don't know, but we're hoping. So let's hope we're not that busy and we will see hopefully everyone next week. Have a good night, everybody.